Hello, my name is Laura Porro, and in this video I will demonstrate the classical Pilates exercise single leg stretch. The single leg stretch is a full body exercise which Pilates designed to condition the core. It's an exercise in which the movement of the legs adds load and therefore adds weight so the core needs to work harder to remain in a stable position while the legs move. In this exercise, it is key to be able to move the legs, that is the hips, without moving the pelvis, that is the spine. I will demonstrate three variations from easier ones to more advanced ones, and then I will talk you through the most common challenges and what to feel for. To, ex to execute the exercise correctly. The starting position is lying supine. Find your feet flat on the floor, hands down by your side with the palms facing down. Here you want to feel your tailbone heavy and a sense of lightness under your lower back, almost a little arch. This is your neutral position. Now, take the legs into a tabletop position and join them together. In this first variation, we will keep the neutral spine, so make sure you still have the tailbone at the heaviest point and lightness under your lower back. Now, lengthen the right leg away and then, as you bend the right leg in, swap and lengthen the left leg away. This is the action of the legs. You swap the legs, lengthening and bending alternatively. The key here is to be able to keep the lower back neutral without feeling that you're arching or rounding. When you feel that you can control this, you can move to a slightly more advanced version, interlace the fingertips and place them behind your head. The elbows are in the side of your vision. Now not the chin forward and curl up. Here, gently lengthen your lower back. The tailbone is still the heaviest point, but the arch under your lower back is less pronounced. Here, try the leg action again. When also this feels comfortable, you can try the full version. Take the hands around the left knee, reach the left knee towards your body as you lengthen the right leg away, and then change. You can have a, an in-breath on each leg, or simply breathe through the movement. Every time you exhale, pull the belly button in towards the spine, feeling that your tummy is widening like a pancake. And then pause and hug the knees into the chest. So let's go through the most common challenges of this exercise. The first one, is the position of the legs. When you're curled up, the legs become a heavy load for the lower back. So the lower you take the leg, the heavier it is for the core to sustain that weight. So here you can choose. The higher you take the legs, the easier it is for the core. So choose your level of challenge and as you practice, you'll be able to take the legs lower and lower. The other key um, part of the body here is the, cur the up curl. When you curl up, whether you're using your hands or not, you want to feel that you're first of all not in the chin in and then curling up. Imagine you're holding a really soft fruit between your chin and your chest, so you're not compressing your neck with the hands. You're not 
using the hands to round your neck into the chest. Your gaze goes up to the corner of the ceiling. Now imagine there is a string attached to your breastbone and somebody's pulling that string. That's where the energy for the lift comes from. So you can see the difference. If I'm pulling my neck in and then up, I'm just compressing the chest. But if I look up and feel the energy from the breastbone, I'm lifting using the space between my shoulder blades. And if you do that right, that's where it's easy to lift up without using the hands. You really feel that you're using the space, the muscles around the shoulder blades to lift you up and therefore you're not putting any stress on the neck. So these are the things to watch for in this exercise, feeling your lower back long but not putting weight on it and feeling that lovely energy from the central area of your torso to do the up curl. Thank you for watching.